What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, feel a little bit better today, but we are on the mend, so we're taking our time, being cautious, and uh, that's it, you know? Uh, but I do have some videos I figured I'd get out for you guys, and I figured, man, it's the weekend, why not get one out for you, right? All right, this one's pretty neat, although we're plagued with two things, guys. One, low res, surprise, surprise, and two, a grid pattern on this particular photo. Now, this one here is from Saul 3211 mass camera or mass cam and of course this is curiosity you can see it right here the on the bottom it says the image was taken by a mass cam camera on board nasa's mars rover curiosity sol 3211 and of course it was the 18th of this month and of course the image credit goes to nasa jpl caltech and mss now let's just jump right into this and enlarge it shall we all right so if you hit the enlarge up here you can see just by using a magnifier that not the best quality um and it does actually have a grid pattern on it now all we have to do folks is just have a look up here without doing a thing to this photo and we can see this weird just some things look very ornate okay um doesn't look completely natural and you can see that look at the rocks supposed rocks uh on this ridge is this just natural rocks or something more especially this cluster over here it looks like they really went to town on this thing like like they just try to mush it all together and of course with the grid pattern you can see the grid pattern pretty well now folks right and we all know why they do this right it's just simply just try to take up some detail mess with the eyes and that's basically what it comes down to right now all you got to do is just download it here it is a jpeg again probably the lowest quality you could possibly get but it is what it is right so let's just jump right into this this is the photo and you can see this to look at the dots and the grid pattern kind of thing going on and all that other good stuff now i'm just going to go right into the enhancement and show you guys what i think is pretty interesting now we can circle all this and just a couple things i picked out that just don't quite look natural now this one here alone on the bottom here the reason why this one's kind of special in a sense is that it has looks like pieces that are doing this almost like it's like a dual letter design to it if you will i mean just really really kind of strange kind of cool at the same time right top here i mean i'm seeing things that are just they don't quite look looks like it's almost like it's rounded at the front there you guys see that See that in the very top here okay what look like squared off pieces we have lines doing this okay this thing not sure to make it this because it has what looks like a bunch of intricate parts i don't know if you guys can see that i'm trying to go in as far as i can but see how that kind of breaks apart a little bit more and i'm trying to avoid doing that at all costs because it is low res as well as a grid pattern on it so we're trying not to do that too much right okay we have this item down here and if you look at the actual just the lines in it is it possible some of these are in fact rocks absolutely now some of these things not so sure that they are though this item in the ground you can see the shape of it looks like it's doing this here and you can see where they put this grid right over the like the rest of it right here okay but the outside seems to echo the shape see what i mean right there that's pretty interesting these up here i find this really interesting because it looks like there was some kind of structural something or other in this you can see where they really went to town on these and put these digital artifacts over it okay this item here to the left it almost looked like some kind of weird face now i'm not saying that's what it is but it kind of looks like the uh, uh the predator face right um which i thought was interesting now this item here lower than that face right here almost reminding me of a cylinder head if you will it looks like like a straight six with the exhaust ports right um one two three four five six it looks like there's six design holes in the side of this 
Um, I'm not sure what to make of that, but check that out. I mean, that to me does not look uh, in any way, shape, or form natural, right? We have these items up here. Looks like they're built into the side of this hill. Right there is that part. And it looks like we have like an opening here. And you can still see that. That's what the graininess and everything. But you can still see those holes or whatever they may be in the hillside. Okay. We have pieces here that are kind of straight. We got one here. Now, that doesn't mean nature could not do this, right? As far as being straight like this. Uh, I think we all know that. But when you have it with a bunch of other squares, rectangles, stuff of that sort. Hmm. You've got this piece up here. Almost looks like it's doing this, okay? Compensating for something here. Coming back up, going across. And we have something that looks like it's coming out of this area or this space here. You guys see that? We've got these pieces up here, which I find interesting. It looks like a pipe. This white piece here I'm not sure of. Going like this here. Should be actually straighter than that. But it looks like it's doing this. Now, again, really, really poor quality photo. But we could still try to bring out some of these things or at least a... Okay, is this natural? Or is it something that's ornate? Something that might have been intelligently made or designed? That's the biggest thing. If you can't make it out that well, you say, okay, again, is it natural or not? This item over here on the left-hand side... I find really interesting because it looks or appears to have some kind of weird slot in this thing. Okay. Doing this, I see it coming back. Doing this here. Not sure what to make of that. If you look at some of the other parts here, have a closer look. Now, is it possible this pile here is a rock? Sure. This rock here, if you really look at it carefully, kind of does this, has this weird almost design to it, okay? And, of course, we can't really make out the rest because it kind of fades off in the back here. But you can see that it's just kind of the docky area. See that? Right in this hole here, or this slotted area, if you will. We have something right here. Almost looks like it has a half round piece there. Now, this rock here, I'm not sure what to make of this because it has what looks like a rectangular or vertical rectangular piece right in the middle of this rock. Also has what looks like it has this piece here. Almost looks like it has this kind of shape to it. Almost like an arrowhead, if you will. But all in all, folks, I'm, I'm not sure this is all natural. At least this is just my opinion, right? And of course, as always, I want you guys to drop your thoughts and let me know what you think. All right, let me just back out now. Take out your magnifiers and have a better look at this. I'm going to get rid of the lines here. Tell me what you think. Here it is. And again, you've seen the places I've circled. And I did enhance a little bit more. You can see that. So we'll leave it like this. Have a better look at it. Tell me what you think. Folks, you know some of this stuff does look ornate. I can see that myself. So are we looking at what looks like rocks on a ridge? Or are we looking at something that has exploded into this small valley? Okay. When I see some of the details in some of these so-called rocks, I can't help but to believe that that's not all natural. And, of course, you guys can drop your comments down below and let me know what you think. And I want to thank everybody for your ongoing support. It's been absolutely awesome. It's helped me out. And uh, I can't say it enough. You guys are amazing. And uh, like I said, we're just taking this very slowly. I just happen to have this photo on board. Um, I checked it out yesterday, did a little enhancement to it just to bring out some of the stuff. And I figured, why not? It's the weekend. Knock one out for you folks, right? So we are taking it slowly and uh, we are trying to get back to 100%. So all your support has been awesome. And I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate it. So thank you each and every one of you 
uh, for, again, for that ongoing support. Please like and share the video. It is appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, folks.